Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Maritime Soldiers Injuries Maritime work is physical work. It can be grueling and difficult. And injuries are not uncommon. Any number of injuries can occur during your duties as a seaman. But injuries to the shoulder are among some of the most common. Many maritime injuries can be painful and debilitating. They may even keep you from being able to do your job. As a seaman, you have the right to compensation if you get injured on the job. And that includes shoulders injuries. Thanks to maritime laws. And then next about maritime work and shoulders injuries. Depending on your exact duties, your job as a seaman is probably physically intense. In any kind of job in which you are physical and moving a lot. Injuries to the shoulders are a possibility if your job includes a lot of lifting. For instance, you may injure your shoulder lifting something heavy or cause damage to the joint over time. Maritime settings are also susceptible to accident, which can cause a shoulder injury. You slip and fall on the deck of a ship or work with dangerous equipment that hasn't been properly maintained. For instance, a witch that is not working right could check your shoulders and cause an acute and painful injury. Unsecure cargo could fall on you and demix your shoulders. If you haven't been well trained for safety procedures, this could increase your risk of having a shoulder's injury. Type of shoulder's injuries There are many different ways you can demake your shoulders and that can develop during a meditating job. As this is a complicated joint that is used regularly, there are four main categories of shoulders injury. Tendinitis is the inflammation of tendon in the shoulders. It usually occurs as a slow process of wearing the tendon down over time. You can develop Tendinates this in the shoulders if you perform a lot of lifting or throwing on the job. Discolations of the shoulder joint happen when your upper arm bone comes out of the joint. This can be a full or partial discoloration and it is very painful. It is caused by overthrows of the shoulder's joint, but can also happen suddenly in an accident. Fractures or broken bones in the shoulder area usually involves the collar bone, upper arm bone, or the shoulder blade. You could get a fracture if you fall, or a soil tits, or have something fall on you. Arthritis or joint swelling comes in many different forms, and it's not always caused by working condition, but it can be caused by overuse. If you have to move your shoulder's joint repeatedly for, for your job that is, you could develop arthritis over time. How do you make to the shoulder is treated? If you have injured your shoulders on the job, 
you'll soon seek medical treatment as soon as possible and get documentation for it. Shoulder damage is treated in different ways depending on the injury and the individual. Common treatment approaches include rest and changing your activities to let the joint hold, using medications to reduce inflammation and pain, and surgery to correct damage in the joint. And then how you respond to treatment will depend on the extent of your injury. Some soldiers' injuries can be severe and you may never recover full articulation of the joint. You may also experience chronic pain in the in the joint. Under maritime law, you are entitled to compensation for the medical treatment you receive for your on-the-job shoulder injury, and you may be able to recover the mix for pain and suffering, lost wages, and lost future wages as well. And then what to do if you injure your shoulder on the job? It is important to get treatment right away for any shoulder injury you get on the job. Make sure that your treatment is documented and that you retain copies of your file. You also need to file a report as soon as possible. Your superior will complete the report and send it to your employer and your employer's insurer so that you can make a claim for compensation. It is your responsibility to make sure this report is complete and that it includes as much detail about the incident as possible. There is a statute of limitation on the various maritime law that confer you the right to compensation so get treatment and a report filled as soon as possible. If your injury is accumulative, the amount of time you have to file a claim begins when you first get a diagnosis of damage to the shoulder caused by repeated motion at work. If you feel like you should be receiving compensation for your shoulder injury and you are not look for any attorney with experiences in the maritime law this professional can help you file a claim under the appropriate laws to get the demix to which you are entitled working with an experienced professional could make the difference between getting what you are owing and losing your case. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give, like, comment, and subscribe.